All right, here we go. I've uh, been off my game quite a bit lately. If you're following this podcast, obviously you've seen, I haven't put out an episode in about a month. And this is uh, something I go through. I think probably everybody goes through this shit. You know, you get into a funk and then you let that funk kind of stay in there and then it gets a little worse, kind of like a little quicksand type of thing. And so I've been in this sort of funk for, I don't know, three months or so. And I think I'll probably do a separate episode on uh, some of the things I've been thinking about, some of the shit that's um, causing me to allow this to happen. But while I was trying to snap out of it, I I started taking some actions and it reminded me of something that I've always believed and um, I wanted to share it with you. So, um, you know, just to put this into a little bit of a context, like it's not like a terrible, crazy funk. Like uh, I'm still moving forward. I'm still progressing in life, just not with the same intensity that I usually like to do. You know, like, like I follow this thing called the power list or I've just started following it. It's uh, Andy Frisella's version of uh, something that a lot of people do. It's like a, a critical task list and it's a short list of tasks that you have to accomplish every, you know, you write it, write one for every day. And then if you accomplish those tasks, then you consider that day a win. And generally people do three to five tasks and these aren't to-do list things. These are, these are tasks that are going to move you towards your goals. So whether it's like in business or your health or whatever, you have these critical tasks um, you can also, or you, you also use it to form good habits. I, I can, I can link Andy's podcast episode about this one and you get an idea on what it is, but, but basically, you know, if you get your tasks done, it's a win for the day. If you don't, if you don't get all of them done, then it's a loss. And so for me, I have been getting some tasks done, but I have been taking a lot of losses. And, um, when you go back through your list, you either put a W or a, or an L at least I think that's what you're supposed to do. I'm seeing all these L's, you know, because there's shit that I keep putting off and the podcast is one of them. So I'll have several days in a row where recording a podcast episode is part of my my power list and um, and I just uh, won't feel like doing it, you know. Uh, so anyway, um, still moving forward. Everything's still going, but I just need to snap out of this shit. So back to the point of what I wanted to talk about. You know, uh, this this quarter, uh, the first quarter of 2022, even though I was kind of in a funk, it was actually the best quarter I've ever had business wise. You know, we did the the most uh, business I've ever I've ever done. And that's um, that's a testament to uh, to a strong team and, and all the systems that we put in place and all this kind of shit. I don't want to get too far into it, but props to the team for fucking badass quarter. This is not a business show, so I'm going to move on past this shit real quick here. So anyway, I was trying to snap out of this thing, and, and I was trying to think, like, what do I got to do? And, and looking at, at my my habits and looking at what are some things that I've sort of stopped doing or, or whatever um, that maybe I can implement back in to help me kind of try to get, get, this, get myself back uh, up to where I, I, I would like to be. And... Uh, you know, so I'm still exercising every day. I'm still reading every day. So that stuff's good. Um, I'm still getting some tasks done. I would like to get all of my tasks done. But one of the things that I dropped was uh, visualization. And I've talked about it before. I was doing uh, 10 minutes of visualization every day as part of my sort of morning routine. And uh, I just I just stopped kind of doing that. Like I would do it maybe two, three times a month or something where I was doing it every day before. So I decided to put that back in for quite a long time, like long before I even got into personal development or started reading about, you know, all of this kind of shit, mindset, business, all these kind of things. Before I got into stoicism and all that stuff, I don't know where it came from, but I had this belief that there was an order to all of this shit, you know, and you hear it in religion and you hear it, you hear these kind of things. So I'm sure I heard it somewhere, but I, I can't pinpoint where where this belief came from, but I was thinking that, um, uh, the universe has an order. And if you set an intention and start working towards that intention, then I, I had this belief that the universe was going to put things into place for you. And so to go back when I, when I first started believing this, I was running my motion graphics company and I didn't know anything about marketing. 
So my whole sort of strategy was, you know, if you're, if you get a job from somebody and you do a really good job, they'll tell somebody about you. So it was mainly just the word of mouth thing. And in business, you know, word of mouth is, is one of the best ways to, to, to get more business, but it's not, it's not a be all end all strategy. I mean, there's, you still got to get people in the door, but I didn't know how to do that. And I was fortunate enough to, to where I got my foot in the door with one producer. I did a really good job for him. He started telling all these other producers. And the next thing I knew I was getting all this work and everything was going really well. And so I just sort of kept doing that. And that's how I, I, I never really marketed that business at all. So like I ran that business, you know, I still, I still do that work, but just, it's not my focus anymore. But so from like 2002 to maybe like 2018, that was, that was pretty much it. And, and around that time is when I started shifting focus over to the business that I'm doing now in that business, there's a, there's a lot of roller coaster type of shit. So I'd be, I'd be working on like four shows at a time. And then all of a sudden there's no, no work for a while and a couple shows or a couple big projects. And then there's like no work for a little while. So once I started to believe this, there was a, an order to all of this shit. I was kind of like, I, I remember I started doing this thing where, you know, the work would, would pretty much go away. So I would, I would be sustained from the money that I made from the last projects. And then I would just be sort of waiting for another project to come. And a lot of times, you know, I was, I was a little lazier then. I was kind of into some more unhealthy habits and shit like that. So when the work would stop, I would just sort of chill, you know, I just wouldn't do anything. And then once the, the bank accounts started getting a little bit lower than my comfort level, <laughs> you know, I would, I would start getting a little nervous. And then I started thinking, you know, the universe has an order and all this shit. So what I need to do is just get to work. And I would just need, I would just start working on stuff, either editing a new reel or start sharpening my animation skills or whatever it was. I just remember I would just get to work. And I knew that if I got to work and, and believed that that action was going to set in motion, this order thing to the universe, then work would come in. And I truly believed that it would work and, um, work, work would always come in. So it was almost like, as soon as I started doing that, that's when the jobs would come back. And so that sort of strengthened my belief that there is some sort of order to this shit. And that if you have the intention, you know, you set that intention, look, I want to work. I don't have any work right now, but I'm going to start working. And I believe that that's going to bring in more work. Then I believed that the universe would, would give me work and work would come in. It could be a coincidence. I mean, I don't know. Here's the thing. Like I follow a lot of very successful people. I have I have mentors. I'm part of like these entrepreneur groups that you have to pay to be a part of and all these kind of things. And all of these successful people that I follow, they believe in this same kind of shit. There's some kind of order to all this stuff. So when you, when you, and it's kind of a buzzword now, like when you, when you put your mind on something, they say you could manifest it. And I guess a lot of people leave out the whole work part. You know, it's, I think it maybe it gets misunderstood. And a lot of people talk about this, that people think that they can just sit around and, and manifest shit and it'll happen. But, um, a lot of us believe that there's a work element involved. So if you're doing this sort of visualization or, or whatever that is, you also need to do the work to back it up and have the belief that it's going to work in order for it to work. So, so that would happen pretty consistently. And that's, that's a, something that I fell back on very, very regularly over, over a long period of time. So last month happened to be the best month uh, we've ever done as far as sales and all this kind of shit. But around just before mid month, we, we have this target where, you know, if we hit this number for the day, then we're heading in the right direction. And as we grow, that number keeps going up. So we have this one number right now. Hey, this is, this is where we want to hit. We want to get either this or above. And so a lot of, a lot of times we're hitting that number most of the time and then, you know, you'll dip below it for one day and then it'll go above it the next day. And, and you know, we're pretty consistent where a, a large percentage more of the days are, are hitting that number or above it. But this one day it went below 
And it wasn't any different than any other day, but I was feeling like I was in this kind of funk. And so right when it went below that, I got a little nervous and I'm like, oh man, I I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this one. Then the next day it went a little bit below, below the, the previous day. The next day it went a little bit lower. And when that happened, I, I saw that we weren't going to hit our number. I was like, look, I got to fucking, I got to snap out of this funk because I started feeling like I'm putting out the wrong sort of energy to the universe. And, and uh, it's going to start taking this shit away from me. Like, I don't know, maybe the, I, I felt like I was putting out the wrong intention, you know, by the way that I was, I was performing. So that day I decided, okay, the next morning I'm going to get back into my visualization. I'm going to do all this kind of shit. And so that morning I woke up, I did my, my regular morning stuff, read, uh, exercise and all that shit. And I put the visualization back in there and I, I visualized my, the future of machine and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, I'm p- part of this group called the Arte syndicate. It's one of those entrepreneur groups I was talking about. And I had missed one of the calls, like, um, I think it was like two weeks before. And usually you have 24 hours to, uh, to watch the video and then it expires. So I knew I had missed it, but I was like, maybe I'll just click the link anyway. Maybe it'll work. So it worked. I downloaded the video and I watched it and it was exactly about that same topic. It was about visualization and, and all of these, exactly the kind of shit that I was thinking about. And so as I'm watching it, I was getting kind of fired up. I was like, oh shit, this is exactly what I was thinking about. That's crazy that it actually played. This is the day that I decided to put visualization back in. All of these kind of things seem like they started, you know, falling into place. And um, so that strengthened my belief that what I was doing was the right thing. And then that day, uh, we ended sales and we were, we we went way above our our daily goal. We were up 75% over the daily goal. So not too far off of doubling our, um, our daily goal. And then we ended up finishing that month and it was the best month we've ever done. So, you know, that kind of like strengthened my, my sort of belief in, uh, in this thing, you know, you could say, you know, it's all coincidence that shit might've probably would have happened anyway. And you might be right. You know, there's books written about this and there's a lot of people that believe in this. And, uh, there's so much shit we don't quite understand about the brain or about the universe or about fucking, how we came to be or all of this kind of shit. There's so much stuff we don't understand. So, I mean, why wouldn't something like this work? I I don't know. But here's the thing. Like if you, even if you don't believe that there's an order to this and, and there's some kind of outside force that's, that's hearing your intention and seeing that you're putting in the work to get, to get what it is that you want and then helping put things into place for you. Even if you don't believe that, if you do set your intention and you do visualize I always fuck that word up and you do visualize what it is that you want. And then you do put in the work, even if there isn't some fucking huge force or whatever, that's helping put things into, into play. That's still going to help move you forward. I mean, I can't remember who said it. I think it might've been Ed Milet, but whoever it was, they said everything that you've ever wanted and got, you have visualized. So even when you were a kid, when you're saving up to buy a new bike or a fucking GI Joe, or I don't, I don't even know if kids know what fuck GI Joe is anymore, but whatever it is, you, you pictured having that and you, you had it in your mind and, and you thought about it. And even now, like anything that you want, uh, uh, if you're going to buy a car and you're saving up to buy a car or waiting for the right time, whatever it is, you visualize, visualized it. You imagine having it. You did all of these, these kind of things and then you did the steps that were required to get you there. So was it this whole manifesting fucking woo-woo shit? I don't know. I, I don't know if it was or not. But like I said, even if it, even if it isn't what, what I'm talking about here, it's still going to help you get to that point. So I, I think it's worthwhile to at least do it or at least give it a try. And so I'm starting to get out of the funk. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still in it. Um, I'm working on it. But um, I made sure I wrote a bunch of different episode outlines. So I'm trying to get a bunch recorded so that I can get these back out consistently again. Because that's one thing when I start getting into these things, I I don't know. I'm not super comfortable with this. I don't know if I'll ever be super comfortable doing this podcast. You know, it's it's not, 
I don't know. It's weird for me. <laughs> it's still weird for me. Even after, I think this is episode 65. It's still fucking weird for me to do. Um, so I'm doing my best to, to try to get more consistent. And um, I believe this is, this is part of, of what I need to do to, uh, to do that. So I got a couple action steps. They're very, very simple. If you want to give this a try. And um, during that call, uh, uh, my Arte call that I was talking about earlier, Andy was talking about where he, he started doing this. And when he started doing this and started looking into it, he didn't believe, he didn't believe in it, but he was in, this was before he had any success. So he was broke. He didn't have any reason to, uh, to believe he was going to have all these things that he would visual visualize. But as he started reading and getting into it and really researching it and reading all these books about it, he really did start to believe in it. Now he really, he talks about it. He's hundred percent certain that this stuff works. And if you look at that guy's life, he's accomplished quite a bit of things. So, um, so the action steps, number one, just start very simple, set a 10 minute timer on your phone and visualize something you want in the future. And some of the things that you would do is make it as real as possible. So for me, I have this, this goal of this awesome facility that machine studio is going to have. And it has all of this cool stuff. There's like a, uh, a building with a warehouse and a, an art gallery. And then there's a huge graffiti yard for people to come and paint and all these kind of things. There's a manufacturing facility. There's all this shit. So I have all of this stuff and I I've looked at pictures on the internet of things that I, that I like the kind of, the kind of look and feel of things that I like. So I get those pictures in my head and so now I've sort of constructed in my head exactly what that place looks like. So the way I do the visualization is I'll go and I'll, I'll literally walk through that place and I'll try to feel as much, as much as I can about it. So I'll try to imagine what the temperature is. I'll try to hear what my footsteps are on the, on the cement floor when I'm walking upstairs, just the, the sounds, the sort of echoing Sometimes I'll drive a golf cart, you know, around the whole grounds and I'll see people painting in the yard and, you know, you try to make it as real as possible. And then another thing that, um, another guy I follow, uh, named Brad Lee, he talks about this too. And he says, you have to feel that feeling of what it's like to actually have it. So try to link your emotions to it. So, you know, the, the a couple of days ago when I was, I was visualizing my place, I had walked up the stairs and I'd gone into my office and in my office, I have a little area where I can do like thinking sessions and meditations and stuff. And so I was sitting up there and I was imagining what it would feel like if I really accomplished this goal. And like, I had this, you know, this kind of feeling of happiness or, you know, that feeling in your chest or your stomach or something when something you're getting something that you want, you know, I, I sort of felt that. So I, I think that's a component to it. At least that's, what a lot of people believe. So whatever it is you it is you want. I mean, if you want like a car or, you know, I don't know, think about it, whatever, whatever it is, try to try to make it as realistic as possible. And, um, and try to commit to doing it every day. It's only 10 minutes. Even if this shit doesn't work, it's, it's going to make you better at meditating. It's going to make you better at, at, um, at sort of using your brain, because it's actually kind of hard for most people. It's hard for me to do. But as I've done it over and over again, I'm getting much better at it to where like I can really feel those feelings, you know, like I can feel the temperature of things and um, I can kind of picture what those conversations look like or, you know, all of this kind of stuff. Like I'm getting I'm getting to where like this place that I go to is is familiar, like it it already exists, but it's not we're just not in the. You know, it's it, it already exists, but it's in the future, you know, so it's kind of interesting. So I would suggest doing that. And then the, the next action step is also very simple. Just read a book called The Law of Attraction. It's, um, it talks about this shit a lot better than I probably can. So check that out. You know, I, I read that book before I started visual, visualizing and, um, and I found it really helpful to sort of understand and try to give myself the belief that this stuff really worked. And uh, so I would suggest, ugh, I would suggest reading that. All right. That is all I got. I appreciate you guys. Apologize for the lag in getting an episode out. Getting back into this shit. So you will see another episode in a week. Appreciate you. Thank you very much.
All right. Good. Appreciate well. each and every one of you guys who are supporting the cause and, and continue to spread the love. And uh, yeah, stay up.